order for me to make myself more significant and more relevant as a contemporary artist, I felt I had to really push the work and really challenge it. As a sculptor, realism is, is something I felt that I needed to be able to achieve, to be, consider myself successful as a sculptor. It was a challenge, I suppose, I set myself. And over the years, I think that with having confidence as an artist and having this sort of in, inner sort of self-belief in what I'm doing, it has almost allowed me to abstract the, more, the work more more clearly and more swiftly rather than actually just trying to prove to myself I'm, I'm a good technical sculptor. I have found a really challenging material in marble. It's cathedral-like in a way, the quarries, because I see them as almost religious because of what has come from the, from the face of the mountain. I'm also acutely aware of I'm taking something from a mountain and I find that a challenge not only ethically but just really the, the, the significance of taking something from a piece of natural earth I find really challenging sometimes. I think that's why I, I invest so much emotion into the work is because I think I need to make that to give that piece of stone significance. To be able to make marble, to be able to contextualize it in a contemporary conversation has been a real challenge. And I think that's what one of the, one of the real challenges that I enjoyed was being able to try and make it relevant, make stone relevant and the way that it's made. Emotionally, stone is also particularly brutal material to work with. It really takes a lot of your energy. It's physically quite grueling and days can be very, very long um, in the studio because it's such a tough, it's such a tough taskmaster. I'm trying to find myself via, vicariously through what I do as a professional. I'm very interested in that idea of changing the dynamic of how the stone is seen and how people respond to it and that it has that sensitivity and tenderness that it looks like the stone has been manipulated by me and by the artisans physically whereupon it hasn't it's been meticulously handcrafted out with chisel and stone to make it have that subtlety that soft suppleness i f feel that that's what's interesting in this new way of repositioning marble in sculpture i think that this conflict I have between realism and abstraction is something that's a very personal quest that I'm on, but it's based around confidence and being able to be able to say, okay, this is what I did, but this is what I really want to do. This is what I feel is really important. And that's where I think that art is really important, is that both that challenge, but also pushing, pushing my practice and, and changing it. I'm making a lot of mistakes in, on the way, but I feel that every step of my practice and profession is, is helping me sort of become a more sort of fulfilled human being.